Hello everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and today I'm excited to have Paul Friedman on my interview show. Paul is the founder of Lens pro to go which he started, I think, six years ago out of his spare bedroom. And Lens pro to go is a sponsor of my site, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk to Paul about any stories he's got of his lenses that kind of come and go out of his warehouse. So, Paul, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Dave. So, everybody talks about build quality, and to be honest, I've, I'm usually very careful with my lenses, so I'm not probably the best person to uh, test lenses in terms of abuse. Um, do you have any stories or, you know, you see a lot of lenses come and go, you know, which, which lenses uh, handle abuse better? Uh, sure, yeah. Um, I, I mean, the truth is uh, most of our customers are really respectful of, of the gear, just as, just as you would be. Um, but we do get our fair share of gear back that comes, uh, comes back to us in worse condition than when we sent it out. Um, uh, for, for instance, a few years ago, we actually had a, a Canon 400 2.8 come back to us in two pieces. Uh, we had fair warning from the customer. He had a tripod mishap and it, and it hit the ground and, and literally split in two. But, um, but we sent it off to Canon and uh, they fixed it up real good and it came back to us even uh, better than new. So do people, uh, uh, do you have any sort of protection plan or anything like that for, for mishaps when that happens? Yes, we do. Actually, we started offering the protection plan shortly after uh, we started um, simply because customers were asking for it. They didn't want to rent the gear without being protected in some way. So we do now offer a protection plan. We've been doing that for a few years now, and that covers you for damage uh, less than 10% deductible in case anything happens to the gear while you have it. And uh, it's usually only five to ten dollars per lens, so we make it real easy for people to take advantage of that, and uh, and it protects them just in case something happens. Um, you know, because things do happen to to gear. Um, for instance, we had uh, one fellow who's been renting from us for a long time, and he usually doesn't take the protection plan, which is fine because it's optional. Uh, but he he dropped a Canon seventy to two hundred, and there was some pretty good amount of damage on there, and. Since he didn't have the protection plan, he had to pay for that whole repair, which uh, wasn't too terrible. Um, but then again, it would have been a whole lot less for him had he had the protection plan. So he says, well, from now on, I'm thinking I'm going to take that protection plan even for a few dollars. So we do offer it, and most people do take advantage of that. So what about third-party lenses? How do they take the abuse compared to, like, you know, a Canon or Nikon? Uh, in general, I would say, yeah, that, that's true. Um, most of the third-party lenses are not built up to the same kind of specs that, say, a, a Canon L lens is. Um, most of the Canon L lenses are built like tanks. You know, sometimes they weigh like tanks, too, but they're built really, really well. Um, certainly, even Canon makes some lenses that uh, wouldn't last very well or wouldn't take the wear and tear very well of shooting in a desert. Um, but a lot of the Canon lenses that are weather sealed and certainly Nikon lenses as well that are, are more sealed will, will take the, the wear and tear of shooting in, in um, inclement climates uh, better than, than most for sure. So I guess you're getting a lot of new requests for people that are shooting video with DSLRs. Um, can you describe what kind of packages uh, that you're sending out that are pretty typical for some of your filmmaking clients? Uh, sure. Uh, well, in terms of the cameras that filmmakers are using, most of them are using Canon. And that could range all the way from, say, a, a 1D Mark IV to a full-frame 5D Mark II uh, to, the, to the crop cameras, the 1.6 crop cameras like a 60D or a 7D or, or even the T3i. Um, so we, we see filmmakers using all of those cameras. On the, on the lens side of things, um, most of them are, are shooting with primes, the L primes. Well, some are shooting with uh, the zooms like the 2470, 2.8, the 70 to 200, the 1635. Uh, most are shooting with like the 14Ls, the, the, the 24Ls, 35Ls, so on and so forth um, because of the shallower depth of field, the sharpness of the lenses. Um, and, then, and then for those who want to go a step further, we also have the Zeiss, the compact uh, primes. Um, so those are like the, the 21, uh, 21 millimeter Zeiss primes and the 25s, and they're, they're built for cinema, cinematographers. So the glass is amazing, and the ergonomics of the lens is really, really great for the cinema, cinematographers. Um, and then in terms of the other gear, we offer a whole, whole host of, of other 
uh, DSLR video gear like uh, like Red Rock and and Zacuto rigs and Cinevate sliders and and lighting and and re uh, audio recorders from Sennheiser and and from Zoom and uh, probably lots of things that I'm forgetting to mention, but we pretty much have everything available. So do your clients call up weeks before their shoot and request all our lenses, or do you have a lot of clients that call up at the last minute and it's like, I need it here on this location, and all of a sudden it's like a last minute type thing and it just gets there in the nick of time? Uh, well, we certainly ship to a lot of weird locations for sure. Um, and, and we do take reservations, uh, we encourage reservations, and some, some of our customers do uh, reserve gear weeks or, or even months ahead of time, which is great. Uh, but we, we also understand that most of our customers are, are renting gear for, for that very week or, or even for the next day. We get lots and lots of uh, phone calls and emails uh, and orders uh, for overnight shipping, uh, which we do every single day. Uh, and we're happy to do it. Um, in fact, we call it Thursday, Overnight Thursday, because a lot of our customers realize that they need some extra gear uh, for their shoot on, on over the weekend. And so uh, they call us or they email us on Thursdays and we, we overnight an awful lot of gear all over the country on Thursdays for delivery on Fridays. So that's, that's what we do. We, we wish it wasn't quite that way, but that's what we do. That's the nature of the business and we're happy to do it. So let's say somebody comes to your website and they see all these lenses and they have no idea they're, they're going to do a shoot uh, uh, for bird photography, let's say, and, and they need a 400 millimeter lens. Is, can they just pick up the phone and talk to you guys in terms of getting uh, information on which one would work? Yes, absolutely. We, uh, we do that all the time. We, we have customers who have been professional photographers or filmmakers for, for decades and they know exactly what they want. Uh, and then we also have uh, customers who ha just bought their first DSLR a month ago, and, and they're not quite sure, and they're not under they, they don't understand all the ins and outs of photography and filmmaking and lenses and whatnot. So, uh, so they call us, and, uh, and we'll ask lots of questions about what you're trying to do and the gear you already have, and, uh, and we make the proper recommendations uh, based on what they're shooting and certainly what their budget is. Um, but yeah, we, we field those calls all the time, um, but that's what we do. We're really, uh, we really emphasize our service and what we do, and we're staffed only by professional photographers and filmmakers so that we are able to answer any of those questions. So yeah, that's, that's what we do. We encourage it. So I've been fortunate uh, to be able to review lots of lenses, and over the past year, I'm starting, my eyes getting a little bit better on noticing things, uh, minor things like uh, sharpness and contrast and saturation. Is there really a big difference uh, between, you know, the kit lenses versus the uh, very expensive um, L lenses, for instance, that Canon makes? Sure. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's not hype. It it's real. Um, in fact, we. We get that very same uh, question from our customers all the time. They say, well, you know, I've got this $200 lens. I'm sort of happy with it, um, but I hear an awful lot about, say, an, an L prime, and, and is it really going to make that much of a difference? And we say, well, yes, and, and here's why. Uh, but the, the only way to really understand it is to, of course, to, to shoot with uh, something like that. So they, so they rent a lens from us, and a week or two later, they call us up and they say, wow, it was, uh, you're right, it was such a big difference. There's a, there's a huge difference between, uh, you know, an inexpensive, mediocre lens and, say, a $1,500 or $2,000 uh, L prime. You, you get that uh, shallow depth of field that, that L primes or, or even L zooms uh, can provide. Uh, you've got that, that color and that sharpness and that clarity uh, and the contrast that you mentioned as well that you just don't find uh, in inexpensive lenses. And, and once people see that for themselves with the images that they, they shoot, that they've shot with their mediocre lenses, and now they try the expensive ones, they say, okay, yes, now I see it, now I get it, now I understand why these lenses are four, five, six times uh, the cost of, of these other lenses. So, yes, we, we see that. We see it a lot in our own photography, and we hear it a lot, of course, from our customers. So, Paul, thanks for coming on my show. Where can people find out more about uh, your company? Do you have a Twitter account, website? Sure. Yeah, we're on Twitter, uh, LensProtoGo, at LensProtoGo, and we're on Facebook, uh, slash LensProtoGo, and, and our website, of course, which is uh, uh, LensProtoGo.com. All right. Thanks a lot.